Hey there guys, today we're going to have a look at bringing characters into Motion Builder. Um, what I have here is a scene in Maya and I have a skeleton and a model and I've already skinned this model so if I just put x-ray joints on you see I've got a skeleton here and when I move the joints we've got all of our skinning information. I'm going to take this into Motion Builder and I'm going to characterize this but first we need to get to grips with Motion Builder and see the various ways which you can import this in there. The first and probably the easiest way is from Maya to just go up to your file and send to Motion Builder. I'm going to send as a new scene and that way our character comes in. Um, our joints are a little bit too big so I'll show you later how we can how we can edit the size of these but for now I just want to show you a, a three different ways of bringing a, a character into Motion Builder so that was number one let's get rid of him and we can also oh I'll do file open last because it probably won't bring the textures uh, the second way is in our asset browser down in the right hand corner here um, if I click right click and then add favorite path I'm able to select a directory from anywhere from my computer for a U from a USB stick um, in this case it's from my documents so if I go to my documents if I could just find them uh, and locate my Maya folder and in there my projects. So I've got this model saved in a folder called base meshes so I'm going to click OK and now you see base meshes has been added to the asset browser. If I pull that menu down I then have access to my scenes folder uh, which is where the model is saved as well as my uh, texture data. So if I just click into scenes here and here's my biker if I just drag him into my scene, it asks me if I want to bring animation in. There isn't any animation, so um, it, I, I'll just click on no animation. And there we go. There's number two. I brought the guy in. Let's get rid of him. And look at the third method. So that's just the simple file and open. Um, same process as you're likely used to in other packages but I'm saving this to last just in case it doesn't bring in our textures so let's file open this guy and this also gives us an extra dialog box with lots of options of what we want to bring in now um, it's split into element and animation there's no animation on this guy so I, I technically could untick all of these things but I'm just going to leave them as is I've unchecked audio because there wasn't any audio I don't want to bring cameras in uh, neither do I want to bring lights in or any video um, but you can play around with this as as you require for your scene so these are my options and I'm just going to click apply namespace so it will attach the right name to our file click open and yeah as expected it hasn't hasn't brought our textures in so this folder that I've made down here base meshes if I go into my images uh, folder here I've got the diffuse and the normal here so I can just bring these guys in and chuck them straight on the mesh and attach texture to material it asks me which channel I want to map it to now the diffuse obviously is going to go on the diffuse so there we are we've got our color data now and I'll just do the same with our normal map same process, just drop it onto the mesh and I'll attach that to our normal. Okay, so there is our guy complete with texture. 
and I'll just check that our joints are working. Yep, and he is working as I wanted him to. Okay, so the next thing we need to deal with is this overscaling of the joints. So if I let's locate one of our joints here. If you click on anything in your viewer over on your left hand side in your navigator you'll see there's a highlight on scene so if I pull that menu down it then also shows me another highlight and it keeps on showing me highlights until I actually get to the joint that I've got selected. So we just want to locate our, our joints. So here's our joints. Right click and select branches. That selects everything that's in the hierarchy, similar to Maya when you say select and then hierarchy. If I go over to the resources over here and change this to properties, I want to look for our skeleton node settings. This might be hidden for you. Uh, just pull that down and then we've got size here. So I can just click and drag and scale this down to something that makes more sense to me. I'll go with 2. I'm just going to type 2. And there we go. 2 looks fine. Oh, oh, I've lost him. If ever you lose things, select them and just press F and you can frame them. Okay, there's our guy. And everything still works fine. Cool. In the next video, I'll show you how to characterize this guy so that he can have a control rig put on him. And once you've got a control rig attached to a character in Motion Builder, that's when the fun starts because you can start to attach um, any kind of animation data, in particular motion capture data. So uh, we'll have a look at that in the next video. Take care.